Crucifixion is the most horrific state-sponsored method of execution ever devised. To add public shame to excruciating pain, the Roman soldiers stripped victims naked before driving nails through their hands and feet into a cross or tree. When they came to the place called the Skull, there they crucified him, along with the criminals. One on his right, the other on his left. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they divided up his clothes by casting lots. The people stood watching, and the rulers even sneered at him. They said, he saved others. Let him save himself if he is the Christ of God, the chosen one. If Jesus had saved himself, he could not have saved us. The crowd had no idea they were fulfilling what the Lord had spoken to the prophet David. They have pierced my hands and my feet. People stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them and cast lots for my clothing. All who see me mock me. They hurl insults, shaking their heads. Let the Lord rescue him. Let him deliver him, since he delights in him. God's rescue plan was being fulfilled in every detail. On the same mountain where the prophet Abraham had said, God himself will provide the lamb and the Lord will provide, God had provided his very own lamb, Jesus. Do you remember how the innocent ram was sacrificed on the wood on an altar to ransom Abraham's condemned son? Now the sinless son of God was being sacrificed on a wooden cross to ransom Adam's condemned descendants. God spared Abraham's son, but he did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God paid a ransom to save you from the empty life you inherited from your ancestors and the ransom he paid was not mere gold or silver. He paid for you with the precious lifeblood of Christ, the sinless, spotless Lamb of God. That is how much you are worth to God. <laughs>